on this episode of Conversations with Rich Bennett. Get out and squirrel hunt. <laughs> it's fun. Kids love it because uh, it's easy. You can just get out and walk through the woods. Well, yeah. squirrels are not easy to see because in the woods, everything wants to eat a squirrel. So it's not easy like you think suburban squirrels are. Right. Um, but just you get out there and you get to experience nature. And it's great walking through the woods. Um, and you don't have to sit still and be quiet like you do deer hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the dog. I mean, I spend a lot of time hunting, running through the woods with him. Coming to you from the Freedom Federal Credit Union Studios, Harford County Living presents Conversations with Rich Bennett. Come on, you're faster than me. Guys. Hey, yeah. We've been together. I got a on my own. Jack is 24 and 13. Oh, man, you already said it. I was going to ask her if she remembered the date. Well, thank you for joining the conversation. So I actually have a new co-host this time. She was on before and scared the living hell out of me, talking about flesh-eating beetles, and I wasn't sure if I was going to make that out of that podcast alive or not. <laughs> <laughs> so I have Kate Gregg joining me, and she decided she um, told me about this guy she wanted to bring on. And, of course, I said, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why not? And um, squirrel hunter, but he also has a beagle bow regard. Who, before we started recording, we were outside. And let me tell you, well, until Kate came up, bow regard didn't want anything to do with anybody. He was looking for squirrels, probably, be he was looking for anything, I would think. No, he's no, just strictly squirrels. 100% focused on squirrels. Wow. Holy yeah. cow. That's amazing. And uh, now he finally let me pet him when we came in to record. <laughs> So I'm going to, I know I'm going to probably pronounce wrong. So we have Ian Cadwallader, Cadwallader, Cadwallader. Yeah. Damn it! The Welsh aren't known for easy pronunciations. <laughs> I got part Welsh in me, more more Irish, but you know, either way. So, all right. So, for, all right. You're former military, right? Are you active? Right uh, now? I'm currently in the National Guard. Okay. Well, that's military. Yeah. Well, I'm not active duty, though. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, and tell us a little bit about you. How did you get into squirrel hunting? So when I got back from Iraq in 2008, uh -huh. my friend and I wanted to get into hunting together. And he took me to like a family squirrel hunting competition that his uh, extended family does. A squirrel hunting com competition. Well, so what they do is it's a $5 buy-in. Okay. And... You get one point. You have to use a twenty-two, right? You get. Well, one, I was going to say anything bigger, there probably ain't going to be any squirrel left. Not if you shoot them, right? Well, <laughs> well that's true too. <laughs> um, so it's one point for body shots and two points for head shots, and then who? <laughs> yeah, and then whoever got the most points wins the pot. And then after, uh, I think we started hunting at daylight, and then we hunted probably until like nine or ten, and then. <laughs> Beauregard. Beauregard's then, trying to leave. Yeah. <laughs> and then we met up at his aunt's house where she cooked us all big breakfast. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. So, yeah, that got me into it. Um, I've always been a little too restless for deer hunting. Okay. So getting up and moving, hunting squirrels was always much more. Because they're everywhere. Too. Yeah. So that can't competition. How many squirrels did you all end up getting? Oh, not not a lot. Um I think between my friend and I, we killed four or five, which okay. I mean, so between two people, I mean that's a fair amount, right? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta ask this with squirrel, um, because that's one thing I've never tried yet, and I, I was a big fan of Duck Dynasty, right? And I remember them cooking up squirrel, Miss K cooking up squirrel like in a stew. Yeah, is there? I take it there's different ways you can cook it. Oh, yeah, you can cook squirrel however you want. Okay. Um, squirrel tastes a lot like... Don't even say chicken, no, man. No, no, no. So, <laughs> hold on. Squirrel tastes exactly like dark meat chicken with a nutty hint because most oh. of their diet is nuts. Pine nuts, acorns, hickory nuts. Yeah, I guess that makes yeah. sense. The other other dark meat. Yeah. Huh? The other other dark the meat. Other, other, yeah. other, other, <laughs> other, 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 other dark meat. Jeez. Now, is it the whole... Well, you can't eat the whole squirrel. Unless you're liver king. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Not with that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, what I do is I butcher them into pieces that will fit in a Ziploc baggie, and then I'll freeze it. I was just saying, isn't yeah. that the whole damn squirrel? <laughs> most, of, most of it, yeah. So I'll do rib cage down and then the arms. There's not enough meat on their torso. Okay. And then most of the time what I do is I crock pot the squirrel, and then I'll take that meat and put it in any recipe. I guess it's a lot easier than doing a deer. Pretty much, yeah. So how, all right, when you get a squirrel, skinning it, gutting it and everything, how long does that usually take to do one squirrel? Some people are faster than others. Um, I'm very methodical about things. Okay. So I, I normally move a little bit slower, but on average, a lot of people can skin a squirrel in under a minute. Damn. Yeah. And then you pass everything on else to Kate and let her make her art with it, right? Um, the, uh, the, so I've got one squirrel head from her that was actually the first squirrel Beauregard was responsible for uh, getting killed. All right, so tell us about Beauregard. What made you decide <laughs> to get a beagle to help you with hunt? You didn't have him first, right? Correct. Okay, so yeah. what made you decide to get a beagle to help you hunt squirrel? Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in 2021, mm -hmm. I ended up in a really bad um, situation, terrible ex, and was going through a really hard time, and it Kate texted me, said, hey, my friend's looking to rehome a beagle. Do you want him? And the last thing I wanted was something to, <laughs> to take complicate my life. Right, you know? yeah. But then she guilted me by sending me pictures of Beauregard <laughs> with her son, and I kind of like Luke. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she suggested, oh, you could use him for hunting. Up to that point, the only hunting I've ever done with a dog is waterfowl. Uh, yeah, well, okay. So my first thought when she sent that was, a beagle isn't going to retrieve a goose. Right. So then I started Damn, looking. goose is the size of a beagle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started looking up um, different things to hunt with dogs. And right. So beagles were bred to hunt rabbits. But while I've rabbit hunted and I don't mind it, squirrel hunting has always been my favorite. So I started okay. looking up how to train a dog to squirrel hunt. Uh, YouTube University, I take it? I'm um, not, not really. really? Um, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of different articles on there, because realistically, you can train almost any dog to squirrel hunt. Uh, huh. Inter all right. Yeah. So I gotta ask this: how, how do you two know each other? Did you serve together? Yeah. Okay. For a little bit. For but you're both in the National Guard, but you're from Virginia. Well, I used to live in Maryland. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I moved down to Virginia in 2017. Okay. All right. I knew that. So, how hard was it to train Beauregard? Uh, actually a lot easier than you think. So with dogs, you can train a dog to hunt however you want. Right. But you can't make a dog want to hunt. So the most important thing is seeing drive in a dog. Like he wants to get out and he wants to pursue something. Right. So the first time when, when Kate brought me the dog, I took him on a walk. And he was a 15-pound, five-month-old beagle. And he tried to kill a goose. So, <laughs> at five months old. Oh yeah. At fifteen pounds. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So when you found him, he was literally a puppy then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was little. He was. I don't even think he was a year old yet. Yeah, he was. Wow. Five, he, was he was five months old when I got him. And trying. Uh, to... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. So I saw that drive, which means all I had to do was focus him on squirrel. Right. And it's easy. I live in an apartment, so there's squirrels all over the place, and people in the apartment feed the squirrels, so they're always around. Always coming around. Right. So I literally, I trained him to squirrel hunt by chasing squirrels with him. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> I'm that weird guy at the apartment chasing squirrels with my dog. I was, But that's <laughs> my, because I know, you. of course, you can't open fire at, at right. an apartment. But he will literally track them down, grab them, and bring them back? No, no, no. Okay. His, oh, man, you, that's the next thing you got to teach him. <laughs> <laughs> so his job is to tell me what tree the squirrels are in. Oh. Yep, so he tracks them down, marks the tree, uh, and then I just go to that tree and find the squirrel. So uh, how often do you two go hunting? Almost every day. On average, how many squirrels you get? Uh, so we're so this year on average, we've been probably getting two squirrels per day. It's still early season. 
And with the leaves on the tree, it's not always easy to squirrel hunt because right. they're hard to see. And especially with a dog, they make so much noise that you can't – or the squirrel knows they're being pursued, so they're hiding. Yeah, I think I saw that when you guys got up here because, like I said, there's normally squirrels everywhere, and then Beauregard comes out and it's like, there's not a squirrel to be seen. <laughs> they were all down the end of yeah. the end of the road, <clears throat> which is unusual too. Oh yeah, and he's a being a beagle, they are, they're pursuit hounds. So okay. when he hits on a hot scent, he howls to let me know that he's on a scent. And. Beagles are not known as a quiet bird. That explains why he went ape shit when Kate got here. <laughs> well, th there's certain people that he loves that he gets really excited to see. Oh, well, that explains so. why he went ape shit when Kate got here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. kidnapped him, threw him in my car, and said, "Hey, take this home with you." <laughs> now, do you, do you, any plans on getting another one? I mean, I don't know. Is it good to have more than one dog sometimes when you're hunting squirrel? Uh, for for hunting squirrel, it can always help. Okay. Like a, a, as long as you have a dog that's good, um, then it won't get in the way because the dogs will work together. Especially something like a beagle, they're pack animals. Right. So they're meant to hunt together. Um, the problem is it's just hard to train a dog during yeah. squirrel season. So mm -hmm. I actually I fostered a dog at the in March of last year for a little bit in the hopes to actually use him as a squirrel dog with Beauregard. But he ended up with an ACL tear. That oh, Jesus. Yeah, um, he had what was called a floating kneecap, where, yeah, it just wasn't... Damn. Yeah, uh, where it didn't seat all the way, so he had to have pretty big surgery for that. And <sighs> the doctor was honest. She she was telling me that, you know, he'll never be a hunting dog. So I ended up, uh, my friends adopted him. Wow. Okay, so, and I know all the listeners are probably thinking of this, um, because one thing I love about you know what you and Kate do when you're hunting, you eat what you kill, yep. which is the way it should be. Unfortunately, there are people out out there just and leave it there. Um, but why squirrel? It, it's fun. Um, okay. So growing up, we my family has a farm in Joppa. Okay. And we had a crop damage permit because the deer were eating all of our corn. So my experience of deer hunting growing up was sitting in a truck waiting waiting for the deer to come out and you shoot as many as you can see. Yeah. And that was we had since we had a crop damage permit, that was all year. Wow. And overnight. Yeah. Right, okay, so but with <laughs> but with the squirrel what, the first time you ate squirrel was it before you went hunting on that family trip on, on the family competition thing? Or was mm -hmm. that the first time you ate squirrel? No, yeah, that was the first time I ate squirrel. Okay, so when they told you you're going to be eating squirrel, what was your what's the first thing that went through your head? Uh, it's meat. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I was like, it's it's meat. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, and that's what I love because a lot of people be like, ew. You say squirrel, you say muskrat, yeah. they're like, ew. Yeah. It's like <laughs> you can't say ew if you never tried it. Yeah. You got to try it. To know if you're going to like it or not. And, and part of the problem is most people, especially suburban people, they see mm -hmm. squirrels getting into their trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a suburban squirrel is going to be, it's not going to be very clean. Whereas a woodland mm. squirrel, they're very clean animals. Um, they're only eating nuts, acorns, the occasional bird, uh, bird's nests. Yeah, they're omnivores. S I didn't realize squirrels eat birds. Oh, yeah. yeah, they get into bird's nests and... Eat the eggs, eat the young, eat small birds. Damn. Yeah, they cannibalize too. What? Yep. If if a mother is raising a litter and one of the babies dies, the mother will eat the baby. Oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah. Just like hamsters or mice or rats yeah. or anything. Yeah. yeah, I'm starting to dislike squirrels more and more now. <laughs> I mean, it's hard being a squirrel. bastards. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the funny thing is because we had uh, my old neighbor – he ended up with a squirrel in his laundry room. Yeah. And it was an adolescent. And that thing would not leave us. Yeah. I mean, he was just walking, jumping all over us. Did find out he liked beer, which is pretty <laughs> weird. Did not like peanuts, though. Yeah. He liked, corn, you know, the corn kernels. Yeah. Fresh corn kernels, fresh cranberries, and apples. And, it w and beer. And he would not leave for a while. And they yeah. actually had to build, like, a... Um, 
I guess like a home for him on their deck. Yeah. And then I guess he finally left. Yeah. But these, I did research because they said in the wild, a squirrel will last maybe a couple years. Yeah. But if you domesticate them, it'd be like 20 years or so. Maybe maybe not that long. No. Um, so, maybe 15 or so, 10. I don't know. Yeah. So with, they've done mortality studies on squirrels. If the squirrel lives to be a year old, it has a pretty good chance of living to be 7 to 10. Really? Yep. Wow. Smart squirrel. Yeah. Oh yeah. They they never he that squirrel never <laughs> met Beauregard. <laughs> well, that's why we're so successful. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, all right, with the cuz I and I didn't realize this too and I I guess on the east on the east coast you have what three different types of squirrel? So, four really because okay. so there's the eastern gray squirrel. Right, which is the most common, right? Yep. Okay. Uh there's the fox squirrel which you'll mostly find those in the Appalachians or the Shenandoah Valley. Okay. And then there's the pine squirrel. You'll find those at high in the mountain peaks. Okay. And then, but also, so there's a species in Maryland on the eastern shore, the Delmarva fox squirrel. But that's not legal to hunt. It, it actually, it was only removed from the endangered species list 10 years ago, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, is there a taste difference between the three you're allowed to hunt? <laughs> So I've never killed a fox squirrel or a pine squirrel. Okay. Um, but from my Bless under, your regard. <laughs> <laughs> from my understanding, fox squirrel and gray squirrel taste similar. Okay. But pine squirrels have a much more piney taste because they live in pine trees and almost all of their diet is pine nuts. Okay. So with the squirrels, what's your favorite recipe to make? So I tried it this year and it it's probably my favorite recipe now, squirrel fried rice. Scott, huh? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Kate, what's your favorite recipe? Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for an old stew, like just a classic stew, potatoes, carrots, okay, celery, um, but squirrel tacos are pretty good, too. <laughs> All right, so right, let me ask you this. How, have you ever made chili with squirrel yet? No, I, I'm not that. Need a lot good of, of a cook, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all I wanted to know, yeah. like how many squirrels. Were, all right, let's say you want to make a, a quarter-pound squirrel burger. <laughs> <laughs> how many squirrels would that take? A quarter-pound squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should cut her mouth. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Um, so probably, it'd probably take four to six squirrels. For a burger? They're, so, for gray well, squirrels, small, yeah. a large gray squirrel weighs a pound. And yeah. you're only going to get probably, what, a half pound of meat? Not mm -hmm. a lot, yeah. Less than that. Probably not even that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, think the, the whole torso doesn't really have any meat on it. It's, it's yeah. all fat? Just your, it's just your legs, shoulders, area, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, what? no, they don't have a lot of fat either. What the hell's in them? Just the meat. Here. Just... All right, so for those of you listening, I've never done this before. I've had dog, I've had seaweed, I've had eel. I, I mean, I've had pufferfish. I've never had squirrel. So this is so, so I picked I'm out. I'm about to try squirrel here. Yeah, so I, um, this is just plain crockpot squirrel, and this is thigh meat from the squirrel. Which so how long I think does it the take in the crockpot? I do it for eight hours. It do, actually does look like dark meat chicken. Yeah, tastes just like it too. Oh damn! Yeah. Damn, that's good. Yeah. Mm. You're good. Help yourself. No, go ahead. <laughs> well, uh, oh, man. He brought more. So I also brought squirrel quesadillas. Squirrel quesadillas. Yep. So this is an Afghan, Appalachian, Mexican fusion. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, a what? <laughs> <laughs> Afghan, Appalachian, Mexican fusion. What the it, hell is that? It, it's squirrel meat. Afghan, Appalachian, Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> So it, it's squirrel meat with <laughs> Afghan chicken seasoning on it in a quesadilla. Oh, okay. When I yeah. all right, when you say Af <laughs> Afghan, I'm thinking of the dog. Oh. Uh. That's what I was wondering. Well, I didn't know. Don't you sit there giving yeah. me a hard time. <laughs> and don't you be spitting out your coffee on me either. <laughs> What the, well, I mean, okay, you guys both yeah. serve, so I, all right, I got to try. Appalachian, Afghanistan, okay. Mexican feud. No, there so, we go. 
Yeah. All right, yeah. And, and just to clarify, when you say Afghanistan, <laughs> the country, the country, not not yeah. a person from yeah. there. Okay. And what else? So it's just squirrel meat with the Afghan seasoning, the four the Mex- the four cheese Mexican blend that you can get at the store. Okay. In tortillas. All right. What is Afghan seasoning like? Cur- is that curry or no? Um, it's kind of so like the it's, it's that curry, yellow seasoning. Yeah. Okay. Turmeric and stuff like that. Yeah. Probably. Afghanis make really good chicken. <clears throat> yeah. Oh damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listeners, meet your pet au pair, your pet care partner in Bel Air, Maryland. They're not just pet lovers. They're certified professionals dedicated to giving your pets the best care while you're away. Worried about leaving your furry friend with a neighbor? (laughs) With your pet au pair, worry no more. They offer peace of mind with their bonded, insured, and background check team trained in pet first aid and CPR for your pet's safety and comfort. Communication? They've got it covered. Quick and easy because your pet au pair knows your time is valuable. Starting is simple. Review the services, get a quote, and schedule a meet and greet. Visit com. That's B-E-L-A-I-R-A-U-P-A-I-R.com. And let your pet au pair be there for your pet when you can't be. Your pet au pair. Doing it for the sits and wiggles. I'm trying to. I'm getting a little nutty there. <laughs> not me. I meant that little nut flavor. We already knew you was nutty. <laughs> Damn, that is good. Yeah. A lot of times I'll get some Chick-fil-A sauce or sour cream with it. Oh, shit, yeah. man. <laughs> mm. yeah. But regard, you did good, Bubba. Yeah. This is this is this is some good shit. Well, so he yeah. won't eat it though, right? So with the seasoning has garlic uh, powder in it, and garlic powder is that. So garlic is actually deadly for dogs. Garlic and onions. Oh, yeah. There was a pellet in my piece. <laughs> Part of the dangers of shotgun hunting. <laughs> but so wait a minute. I thought you said you use a twenty-two when you're hunting squirrel. On that competition. So oh, okay. So I hunt on Quantico almost every day because I'm only ten minutes from there. Right. And Quantico does not allow any rifles. 22, mm, nothing. Okay. So you have to use a shotgun. So I've purpose built a shotgun for squirrel. It has an extra full choke with a red dot sight. So that way I just put the red dot on the squirrel's nose, pull the trigger, get a couple pellets in the head, and the squirrel comes down. Okay, so we, I'm not feeling any pellets going down. So <laughs> um, when you clean the squirrel, I guess you got to be very thorough then when you're looking for the. Mm-hmm. Did you get one? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're good. They, I, it's funny because I, I told my my wife and daughter about this. You're going to eat squirrel. I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> it, it's meat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, oh my god. Yeah. And oh. I have a funny feeling when I get home now, the squirrels that are always coming up to me looking for peanuts. <laughs> they're they're going to sense very regard. First of all, they're going to yeah. be like. Oh my God, he was with him. <laughs> so what's what's something you want to try to make with squirrel that you haven't had the opportunity to make yet? Because you either need a shitload of it or. <laughs> um. So I think the next thing I'm going to try is making a. a so you could say a squirrel cake, but basically take like just do a crab cake recipe with squirrel meat. Ooh, yeah, that could be good. Yeah, because I mean, you look at the pieces there; they're about the same size you'd get. Out ah. of oh, you can let Beauregard have Here, it. Beauregard. Well, don't hand it to him. Oh, he won't. Oh. Yeah. So Beauregard is normally a very gentle dog, mm-hmm. but with he knows what squirrel meat is, and he doesn't care where the squirrel ends and your fingers begin. Oh, I'm glad you told me that because I have a tendency <laughs> to put like I'll put a piece in my mouth and have the dog yeah. take it out of my mouth. You, no, no, you'll my- take you'll take my lips. What? He's like, you jumping ate- up on my lap now. Yeah. Huh? He knows you're eating squirrel. And, and so he know so beagles have the it's third good. best nose good. of all dogs. So he knows that squirrel. The third best? Yep. What's the other two? What, uh, what two bloodhounds have the best nose, oh, okay. and then basset hounds have the second best. You did good, Beauregard. That's some good squirrel. Yeah. Go get me more. Oh, yeah, no. He Go works get hard some for fresh it. squirrel. Yeah. We killed 84 last right, season. You win another piece, don't you? Yeah. 
<laughs> Let me put it down first, okay? But yeah, you can drop it. He might catch it. There you go. Yeah. Actually, a rule I have for he when I take that people right hunting. <laughs> oh, yeah. A, a rule I have for when I take people oh, hunting man. is to let me get the squirrels from him. Because same thing. He doesn't care where the squirrels end and your fingers begin. Right. <laughs> Good. You can smell it. You can lick. Yeah. Don't don't bite. You can lick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, I, well, I'm not shocked. I mean, it's it doesn't taste gamey at all. Mm-mm. Which a lot of people would probably say that. Be like, yeah, it's probably going to be gamey. There's no gamey taste to it. Yeah. Well, one thing I hate is when people use the term gamey. <laughs> yeah. Because that gamey taste comes from used muscles. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So cows, you know, domesticated cows, chickens, all that stuff, they don't have to survive. They're right. just in the field. Whereas you think about a deer or a squirrel, they have to run from predators. So they're constantly using all their muscles. So that gamey taste is just from muscles being used. He's looking, you know, I just want to let you know, our Beauregard is jumping up on Kate now. He's, it's not because he likes you. It's <laughs> only because he thinks you have some squirrel there. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Yeah. yeah. Right, Beauregard? So he, he's staying at the door ready to go out and get yeah. more. <laughs> now, is there besides squirrels, is there anything else that you hunt? Not really anymore. No? No. Because I like doing things with him. Right. You know, I like having Beauregard around, and squirrel hunting is something we can do, and it's fun, and I enjoy it. Now, can you do, well, I mean, I guess you can, but I don't know. Is there seasons for squirrel? Yeah. Okay, can you hunt them with bow? You can. Have you tried that yet? No. Uh, I've dislocated my shoulder 13 times, so. What? Yeah. How are right, if you don't mind me asking, how in the <laughs> hell did you do that 13 times? Ooh, get the list. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> so the first was time was Kate shooting at your ass? No. Oh no, no. it's your boyfriend yeah. that was shooting at you. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> um no, so <clears throat> so the first time I, I gotta steal another one. Oh yeah, These no, please. Good. Yeah, that's why I made them. So the first time <laughs> my brother and I were at the pool. So my family's farm has a pool on it. Mm-hmm. And we're in the pool. And I was on a floaty raft, and I went to go run him over, because why not? <laughs> and <laughs> in the ensuing scuffle, my shoulder dislocated. And I think I was maybe 13. So I put it back in, and then just through various other things. like You put it back in? Yeah. Well, back then, everybody thought you could. <clears throat> no, yeah, it's easy to put your shoulder back in, if you know how. Yeah, but now they don't do that. Oh, I mean, I put it back in a couple, <laughs> what, Good Lord. a month or two ago. Yeah. No, Beauregard and I were out on a run, Jesus. and I lost my footing, and he pulled me down. So I ended up hitting the pavement, and the way my left arm hit, my shoulder dislocated. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to get someone to help me put it back in. It's not hard. Well, I know, but and, and the only reason I was, <laughs> well, it does, I, I don't know, I never did. Yeah. But my do- my daughter, she thought, and this is like within the past eight weeks. Yeah thought she dislocated her shoulder and he took her to the hospital come to find out it was four hairline fractures yeah that that is a danger right and they said they said well they'll take x-rays and you got they said good thing it wasn't dislocated this is what they told her at the hospital they said good thing it wasn't dislocated because otherwise it requires surgery right away right and i thought same thing you just pop it right in they said they don't like they don't do that anymore because of the tendons and everything yeah you could pinch them I was like, oh, dang, good thing you didn't do that, huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold still, Grace. I'm going to push yeah. you back in. <laughs> 13 uh, times? Yeah. Um, I did it once. I've done it two or three times while sleeping. Um, a girl I dated was tickling me once and ended up putting my shoulder out. Um, I've done Did- it stretching, putting on a camel back. Yeah. Have you ever gone to the doctor to get it checked out? Maybe there's like <laughs> something missing there. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what happens is there's muscles on top of your shoulder that help connect right. it. And when you dislocate it, it stretches and tears those muscles. Yeah. So there is a surgery, but the Ooh. surgery does not have a hundred percent success rate. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's why I've never gotten the surgery. I just got that Afghan spice. Yeah. Man, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I, I love it. I got all excited. There's an Afghanistan restaurant 
not too far from where I work, and they sell that spice. Really? Oh, yeah, so I bought it. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything like that around here. Uh, so there, I forget the name of it, but there's an Afghan restaurant in Baltimore. Okay. That's actually owned by um, Karzai's brother, the former president of Afghanistan. Not the try because I, I. That's the only. That's well. This is the first time I've ever had anything of Afghan seasoning. Yeah, their chicken's delicious. And years ago, I had um, when I was in the IT field, one of my um, techs took me to an Ethiopian restaurant mm -hmm. in Silver Spring. First time I had Ethiopian food. Which, wow, was amazing. Um, which I didn't realize they don't use silverware either. Is yeah, yeah. What you know, the bread, but yep. <clears throat> threw me off. <laughs> but I, and here it is, my buddy, and it, small, skinny Ethiopian guy. He, I forget what you call the platter, but it was a huge platter. And I thought it was for both of us. He's like, "Oh no, Rich, that's mine. You go ahead." So I got one. Man, he. Finished his in no time. <laughs> I couldn't finish it all. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're what, 100 pounds? And here I am, 260. And it's like, how in the world do you do that? Yeah. So besides Quantico, where else do you go hunting? Oh, lots of places. Uh, any public land we can find in Virginia. Right. We, So we open the season every right. year going to Kentucky. Oh. Yep. Kentucky's squirrel hunting season opens two weeks before Virginia's. So we go down there two weeks before we can hunt in Virginia, and we hunt there for a weekend in the mountains. Well, damn, next time... <laughs> excuse me, that may have been a... <laughs> that may have been a... <laughs> shot in there. <clears throat> um, damn, next time you go to Kentucky and go squirrel hunting, I'm thinking somehow or another you got to try cooking that with some bourbon. That could be good. Yeah. Make like a bourbon peanut butter... Marble oh man, <laughs> damn! I have. Or have you ever smoked it? I no. love smoking. It's, I don't have a smoker, but on one of the squirrel hunting pages I follow on Facebook, right. someone just made a post that he smoked squirrel recently, and apparently it's the most amazing thing in the world. I can see that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what you need to do. Okay, when you get a shitload of squirrel, <laughs> <laughs> well, come I have up here. I'll smoke it for you. <laughs> I have 40 in the freezer right now. Uh, what? Beau <laughs> Beauregard and I have killed 42 squirrels so far this season. How often do you eat squirrel? So I actually don't eat a lot of squirrel during hunting season um, just because we're so busy hunting. Uh, okay. So I freeze it, and then I'll start working my way through it outside of season. That's I got to try I gotta try smoking it. Yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Oh, I'm sure. That would be good, yeah. Yeah, with that and with the snakehead fish that you haven't grilled yet. <laughs> Of it. Yeah. Huh? I thought you said be, before you were on. I thought you said you never grilled it yet, or grilled snakehead. No, no, we've we've cooked some of it since our last. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. I haven't smoked that yet. That would be good on the smoker like too. I think. Be, yeah, I feel like that would be good. I didn't. I never even thought about that. Oh, I think it's. I think of smoking everything. We did a. Oh, yeah. a smoke. Was it a <clears throat> smoked pumpkin bourbon pie? Nice. Oh, it, that sounds good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Like, yeah. I can see that working. Yeah. Oh, it was, hey, you can smoke anything. Pumpkin, yeah. Bourbon and brown sugar. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's yeah. That'd be man. I am just. I'm. I am freaking. Can't you do good, man? No, this, I am shocked at how good this actually is. Oh yeah. I. And this is something that I, I never understood. Um with supermarkets yeah. selling meat. You know, they have no problem bringing in all these meats from other countries mm -hmm. saying it's USDA approved and it's a combination of stuff. So what we got here, sell some of this damn, the stuff you find out in the woods, sell some deer, sell some squirrel. Well, so uh, actually that's, so that's illegal. I know they, it's illegal, right. but they need to make it legal. <laughs> well, they made it illegal because of the market. People were market hunting. And we almost wiped uh, out all of our wildlife. Uh, Beauregard, come on. So There's they, a squirrel out there, Dad. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that's all he wants to do is go You know what? I, I have a funny feeling. Sorry. So those of you listening, Beauregard's sitting at the door trying to get out. I think there's a bunch of squirrels just standing in front of the door flipping him the bird right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, like, there, like those oaks out there, there's a bunch of acorn shells from uh, okay. the squirrels eating. So 
Yeah, that's he just wants to go track them. But yeah, no, so they, it's illegal to sell any wild game in the U.S. because we almost wiped out all of our wildlife. Yeah, I guess that makes sense yeah. because you... Come here. Yeah, Come then here. you'll have every everybody just wanting to... Yeah. Well, like the fishing industry. Yeah. I mean, that's why you always have a hard time getting crabs and oysters. Yeah. And, you know, everything. Oh, I'm sorry, this is just... <laughs> Yeah. All right, those are the Beauregard's just standing at the door of his head tilted, looking like he's either got to go to the bathroom or there's a squirrel out there. He's like, <laughs> it's like he hears something. Oh, he, he needs to go. He needs to go to work. No, oh. Beauregard. He likes to work twenty four seven. Oh yeah, that's amazing. All right, so, and if you have, if you're not doing this, I think you should. Do you actually? Take anybody on, you know, like like a guide. Taking anybody squirrel hunting. Oh yeah, so okay. Uh, I I make posts online or at work about getting taking people out squirrel hunting. Took, You're charging them for it, I hope. No, why not? Why not? I'm going to hunt anyway. I know, but so what's it going to be taking someone else out? Because you because that could be a full time <laughs> job for you. Look, Beauregard agrees. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, um, I was telling some of the guys down at work that the price to go squirrel hunting is to find a single girl that likes to be outdoors like me. <laughs> God. Um, they, but now, you're strictly on social media, no, no website, right? Correct, because I'm not trying to make money. I just right. I like sharing pictures and videos of our hunting together. But you guys go hunting every day? Yeah. Now, do you, work, you have a full-time job? Yeah. Where in the world do you find the time to hunt? After work. I work five to one. So by the time I get home, I've got, depending on daylight hours, three, four hours to hunt. And how many days a week you work? I work five days a week. Five days a week? Yeah. Well, real is six times because I work uh, part-time at a gun shop in La Plata. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, we hunt six. We all, normally, we hunt six days a week. Isn't La Plata southern Maryland? Yeah, it's actually due east across the river from me. How long does it take you to get there from home? About an hour. Damn. But, yeah, the the owner is a the, uh, the owner is a friend of mine, and he needs somebody to do some gunsmithing work for him on the weekends. So I come in on Saturday and work on guns. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, Kay, I'm going to turn it over to you because I know you got questions. I'm going to eat another case of dinner. <laughs> See, this is all part of being a co-host. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm flipping through the Rolodex, and I have all of the answers to it, and I'm just trying to figure out what the listeners are going to do. Yeah. This is a mistake. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Kate and I were good friends, so we talk a decent amount. And yeah, mm. yeah and she follows Beauregard. Like, yeah, like twelve years or something, or ten years. Ish. Like yeah. Math. I don't All right, know. I'll let you slide on this one. <laughs> Boy, you got over easy. <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? Got over easy. Yeah. Because you, well, you already knew everything, so you, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I came in, had my coffee, free quesadilla. Yeah, almost free spit your coffee on me. <laughs> <laughs> Beauregard's giving you kisses and everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, man. So, yeah. Ian, you got anything to add? Man, damn, that shit is good. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, um, I mean, Try get a squirrel, everybody. Yeah, get out and squirrel hunt. <laughs> it's fun. Kids love it because uh, it's easy. You can just get out and walk through the woods. Well, yeah. Squirrels are not easy to see because in the woods, everything wants to eat a squirrel. So it's not easy like you think suburban squirrels are. Right. Um, but just you get out there and you get to experience nature. And it's great walking through the woods. Um, and you don't have to sit still and be quiet like you do deer hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the dog. I mean, I spend a lot of time hunting, running through the woods with him. Chasing him down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually with... Because you've done 22 and you've done shotgun. What's your favorite to use? When there are leaves on the tree, I prefer a shotgun. Okay. Because the uh, it's if the squirrel's hidden, um, you're still going to hit it probably. Right. Whereas with sense. the 22, you have to be much more accurate with the yeah. 22. And because of running squirrels with a dog, I, like I said, the squirrels know they're being hunted. So they're hiding and they're very wary. Okay. So a twenty two is hard over a dog just because the squirrels are hiding so well. And especially 
the squirrels will run up to the top of the tree to hide from us. So you're taking long shots or on thin branches that are swaying. So a shotgun is just easier. Yeah, what about flying squirrel? Are they around here? I don't. Uh, they're in Maryland. I've seen them before. But you can't hunt them. I think you can, oh, tra- no? I think you can trap them, though. Okay. Wow. Now, have you ever done that? Just trap them and... No. I guess it kind of takes the fun out of it because, oh, here, you're alive. I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. Got to kill you somehow before I cook you up. Yeah, I don't want to throw you in a boiling pot. <laughs> what? People have different morals and ethics about trapping. Um, yeah. Like well, the- and, and because we, like I said, we get them in our neighborhood all the time. My one neighbor's constantly, well, I think he finally gave up. He would trap them and then go release them. Right. And I read somewhere where unless you take them across a body of water, they're going to just keep coming back. Oh, yes. And he couldn't figure out why all the squirrels were still <laughs> oh, yeah. around. Yeah, squirrels move a lot more than people think. Yeah. Beauregard has. The neighbor was feeding them, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Beauregard has actually led me on a track, like actively tracking a squirrel for over 300 yards. Damn. Yep. Like across streams, up and down ridges. And we covered 300 yards. And when he stopped, I looked up and there was a squirrel in the tree. All right. So you're one with nature. You got an awesome dog, and you're getting freaking exercise. Yeah, I like to eat, so we run a lot. And you get good, yeah. So people get a beagle, go squirrel hunting because, <laughs> man, you want to get in shape. That's one way to do it. And it's there's like no fat on there. No, it, it's, so it's, it's a, rare to see it's a squirrels good diet. with a lot of fat. Yeah, yeah, they're super clean, very healthy animals. Man, all right, you ready? Rock paper scissors. Who gets the last one? <laughs> ready? One, two, three, go. Uh, wait a minute, you cheated. Best she did, she did go on three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you did. So right. one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> one, two, three, go. You won. Didn't yeah, you that means you get... Oh, well, okay. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sit there argue with you. Damn. And I want to thank you so much, right. Kate. Thank you. It's always good seeing you, even though it's only the second time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Kate's good people. She is. She. Uh, oh, my God. The art. I want to thank my guests for coming on this episode, but I really want to thank you for listening. And I would really appreciate it if you left a review about the show or about this episode. And you can actually do that right from the website. Go to conversationswithrichbennett.com. You can leave a comment about this episode. You can leave a review for the podcast in general. Another thing I would love for you to do, of course, follow us on social media, but send me a voicemail. If there is somebody you want me to get on the show, if you want to come on the show, if there is something you would like for us to discuss, send a voicemail or send an email. If you send a voicemail, if you want, I can actually play it back on the show too. So just saying. Uh, But no, seriously, I, I want to thank you for listening because if it wasn't for you, the podcast wouldn't be as successful as it is. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you very much.